The family of a 19-year-old murder victim gathered not far from where investigators found his body. Curtis Mason Smith's family believes he died trying to stop a mass murder plot. I think we all should look at Mason as a hero. Um, he was a great kid and he always knew the right things to do. Smith, missing since Friday, was found Sunday in Frederick on vacant property. Investigators say at the top of this driveway, he was inside a car shot in the head. 19-year-old Joshua Eckenrod of Thermont, a high school acquaintance, is charged with Smith's murder. This was a senseless, needless tragedy. There's no reason on earth why one 19-year-old should take the life of another. So far, no motive for the murder, but the investigation did uncover a plan to kill many more people. According to a court charging document, sheriff's deputies went to Eckenrode's family home in Frederick. Outside, they found blood on the driveway. As they searched inside the house and the teen's Thermont apartment, they found explosive devices, a huge number of handguns, shotguns, semi-automatic rifles, and quite a bit of ammunition. They also found a written plan of action and a note from Eckenrod addressed to his family. We don't know what uh, a potential target might have been. I have no idea. Again, and the notes we found with that would allu that alluded to that something were to happen, something was going to happen, and he probably wouldn't survive. Zachary Smith says his son was not part of any plot. Mason just, he always stood up for what was right. And I just think at the end of the day, Mason lost his life for either saying no, or I don't want to do, you know, you shouldn't do this or whatever. But Mason wasn't, part, I want everybody to know Mason, my son was not part of this. He stopped this. He saved this community. Joshua Eckenrode is being held without bail at the Frederick County Detention Center. Reporting live from Frederick, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.